Hello people and welcome back to Sky Factory 3. Sky Factory 3. When we left off, I just wrapped up finishing this uh, old school cobble gin. I moved over the crucible over here too. I put a little more slab around, fenced in the area so I wouldn't have a tendency to fall off. But if it catches fire, it'd be easy to, to break it free and um, not burn the whole place down. So uh, in between episodes, I stood here in and hammered the crap out of this cobblestone generator so I can make a stack and a half of uh, cobblestone so we can keep going further from, from this point. So let's get back into it and uh, let's check the achievement book. All right, so we built the cobblestone generator, so that's off. Now we just need to make the, the Tinker's Construct tools from bone or flint. I don't know how many tools we need to make, but uh, maybe one? I don't know. We'll see. So basically, we need to get bone or flint. And for that, we're going to do a little sifting, right? And then build the, build the stuff. So let's see what we have here. Uh, flint. So flint uh, comes from gravel. So we can just craft it. We don't even have to. Is that possible? Huh. That's That seems weird. Or you can get it from the heavy sifting. That makes sense. So it comes from gravel. You probably can get it from the regular sift as well. Uh, this, yeah. Okay. So, if, well, if we can craft it, why not just craft it and call it a day, right? And bone, I think, same thing. I don't know if you need this kind of bone to craft or bone meal itself. Maybe you can put three across and make a bone. I don't know. Well, we'll you know maybe maybe we should just go with flint since that we know we can get and maybe that's what we'll do. So we need to build the parts. So we need to build the tool something. What is it? Down here. Tool parts chest. So we need parts chest tool fold tool patterns. Alright, I kinda remember this. I think we need to make the patterns. Blank patterns. Okay. I don't have the stuff. So let's get some some sticks and wood in my inventory. And that way we can auto make the stuff a little faster. All right. So patterns. I'm sure there's a way you can do more. So let's do six for right now. Okay. Parts chest is either a chest or blocks all the way around the pattern. All right, well, we can do that. All right, we have a pattern chest. I'm sorry, not a parts chest, pattern chest. And, oh, we need a parts builder along with a parts chest. So this one, we're gonna need an actual chest
right? So it's more of this, we're gonna need some more wood. Chest. Oh, parts builder is just a block in the pattern. Okay, we'll make that, get that out of the way. Parts chest. Do we have the stuff? All right. So the parts chest, parts builder, pattern chest. So we need a um, tool station. There we go. Parts chest tool station. All right, have those in stock. And I don't know if there's anything else we need. This seems right. We got a parts builder, pattern chest, and then we have a parts chest, and then to the tool station. So this will hold the patterns. This builds them. It should be right. Let's see. Let's put this over here. We have four items. Let's get these in here. Kind of. I think I'm going to put them in this order, maybe. All right. Okay, this is a lot different than I remember. Ugh, this is... Oh, yeah, that's a pattern to chest. So there's a pattern builder. So we need a pattern parts builder. Wait, how do you build the patterns? Maybe that's what I'm missing. Something with the patterns. I don't see anything in the same color. Well, That's interesting. Oh, okay, so this changes now with what you need to build. It tells you the stuff and then you can name it and then it comes out. Okay, this makes sense. And this is where you'd put, I'm guessing the parts that you build like this, no? Huh. Well, I'm kind of just winging it here, so I don't I don't really know what I'm doing. <laughs> they've uh they've changed this around a little bit. I I feel like I'm I'm missing something here. I feel like I'm missing a a station, uh, something that I need to make make them. Well, that is uh unfortunate because kind of stuck then if I can't figure I got I'm gonna to have to do some research it looks like unless unless it's right here in front of me and I'm I'm just missing it so the chests are just chests so see there's a parts builder I need something to build the patterns or stencils or um it's, it's got to be here let me see here if I was gonna make this wait it takes four Maybe you'll see it in here. Stencil table. Okay, see, I am missing something. Stencil table. That is what I'm missing. I 
knew there was something. Oops, go back, go back. How'd I go? How'd I lose you again? Can't this? I need a block and a stencil. I should have it right there. No? So then that would be probably here. I'm guessing. So you put these in here. Pick which one you want. And then it comes out the other side. Into the pattern chest. Okay. Whew. I knew there was something I was missing. I had five. Huh. Oh well. It's looking good now, huh? So we're going to have to build some sort of tool. So we'll need a pick head pattern. Oh, maybe we should look and see what it is we need to get down here. So if we're going to make a pickaxe for cutting out cobblestone, we'll need binding, small, the rod. So we need those three things. So come here, we'll take this as one. Um, then we need the small X, this one here, and I'm guessing the small rod pattern. And then if we make an axe, since I'm doing a lot of chopping wood, this would probably be pretty good. I don't know about a May talk yet. Uh, Matok, um, let's go for an axe. It's because these are the things we need. These are the two tools we need. So we need the same thing, stick binding and an axe head. So we already have this, the rod and the binding. Now we just need the axe head, which I think is this. Yep. So there we go. We, have, we can build those, those patterns with flint. So now we need flint and probably... I still have the hammer. Okay, we have the hammer. We have some cobblestone. Let's just um, let's try this real quick here. Some cobblestone. Hammer these to gravel. Then supposedly you can make flint. Well, there you can. All right. So we'll make four flint. Make five flint. And that should be that should be enough to do the the patterns on this. Should we see um so if we're gonna make say, this head out of flint. So you need two flint. All right. If we're going to make the axe head, what do we call this? The, um, yeah, pickaxe head. So I guess you can add the modifiers and stuff in here as well. All right. We want to make this out of wood. I 
And the binding... Maybe make the bindings out of stone. Just because we have a lot of it right now. Alright. Supposedly it was supposed to go into here. I don't know why I didn't do that. Maybe I'll have to put these in a different place. Oops. So now if we make... Huh. It's not pulling it in there. Let's see if we can make this real quick. Pickaxe. Need one. There we go. And there, there it is. And it's raining. We'll call it uh let's call it call it picky. Just because we can. All right, so we did it. And I guess we'll call this one choppy. All right, this episode went a little longer than I usually do them, but we have built tools from Flint. So boom. We have left the Wooden Age and we are going into the Stone Age. So that's where I'm going to end this episode. It's raining and we got a lot done. And we got a lot done. So here we are. So leave a comment below. Let me know your thoughts and opinions about this and uh, or even some helpful helpful tips and hints. Don't forget to subscribe to support this channel. It's free to do so. And if you enjoyed this video, poke that like button as you would a friend. And on that note, thanks for watching. Until next time, bye-bye. <laughs>